Welcome everyone! You are about to embark on a journey through the universe as you indulge in this extraordinary essence of enlightened, empowered, evolved. Let the show begin in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Just in time, greetings, I'm Luke Bryan Smith and welcome to Enlightened, Empowered, Evolved, where we educate, motivate, and liberate you through enlightening dialogues, empowering music, and evolving content. I'm excited yet again because my next extraordinary, amazing guest is a compassionate psychologist and psychotherapist dedicated to guiding individuals on their journey to emotional healing with empathy, curiosity, and gentleness. She assists clients in cultivating harmonious relationships and living meaningful lives aligned with their personal values and a whole lot more. But without further ado, allow me to introduce to you Irina Chirano. Irina Chirano. How are you doing today, Irina? Thank you very much for, inv for your invitation. I'm happy to be here. Thank you for having me. Yes, yes. And I would like to reciprocate that by saying that I believe that time is one of our most precious assets. And for you to choose to spend a moment of your time here with me in a, in, in, in a segment of your history of your timeline, to be here today, right now, at this present moment, I just want to ext extend my sincerest gratitude once again and say thank you very much for being here with me. You are so welcome. And I can assure you the moment is pressure for me as well. Yes, yes, yes. So let's just let's just get right into it, Erina. Let's let's start with this. Let, 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 this this stands out to me. Like I said, there's nothing set in stone here. We're we're just going with the flow. So you tell us a little bit about you earned a degree from the University of Psychology. Tell us about that, how that came about, uh uh what what sent you in that direction. Um, just just give us a little insight on that. Wow, that was such a long time ago. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was 18 and um, I wanted to do something different because I was graduating for from the um, um, high school of informatics. Okay. And I wanted to do something different, really different. So I chose psychology and after finishing uh, this university, Right. I um, had a career as an HR, actually. So right, I right. worked as, an, as I worked. I worked as an um, uh, HR representative, HR manager later. Right. For um, so eighteen years, I think. Right. And for the last ten years, um, my role has been my career has been dedicated uh, to helping people as a psychotherapist. Mm. So I feel such a blessing only by saying that I was very blessed with my career. Right. However, it was not that easy as it sounds, mm. because at least uh, from this point of view, for, for, for understanding, finding out, um, understanding what do I need to be, what mm. do I need to change to be a good psychotherapist, understanding what are the methods. This was like, and it still is. Uh, an incredible, an incredible journey to yes. have. Yes, yes, that that's absolutely amazing. So, this uh, university, where where is the University of Psychology, the one you this went to? This is in Bucharest, Romania, because I'm a, I'm a, from Romania. This is the country. Yes, this is a country in Europe. In, Europe. Uh, yes, Europe. yes, I've heard of uh, Romania. I've never been there, but yes, I've heard of it. Yes, it's a lovely country. You you uh, um, you will love it. So yes. you're invited here, and you would love the country. Okay, as well. I'll I'll book a flight tomorrow. <laughs> I will wait for you. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So um, yes, g give us a little bit more insight on you being a uh, a psychologist and a psychotherapist. What uh, really um, inspired you to go in that direction? And I'll ask you that. What inspired you to go in that direction to be psychologist, psychotherapist, you know, working with mind and all that? And what 
what type of, uh, from your perspective, what, what type of things do you focus on from your own unique perspective? What, is, what, what, what is your passion in that? Wow. Such a nice question. Um, well, my passion lately, um, it, it, it changed because, okay. um, Although I um, I consider myself a well trained psychotherapist, so I've tried numerous models, right. but the model that I considered my professional home it's called ADP and it mm. is actually from US. <laughs> AEDP. Yes. 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 It's... Okay. Yes. 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 I was going to ask you about that too. So yeah, go ahead. My my apologies for the interruption. <laughs> So ADP is actually from US. So it's in a way funny. I found my professional home in US with the Institute of uh, ADP in New York. Right. However, this has, these are the great advantages when the world, you know, just opens for you. And that happened right. for me um, because I, um, I, uh, I trained myself in ADP online, right? Throughout the years, but online with the, with the help of Institute. Now, what uh, is that? What is that? AEDP. What is AEDP? That? Yes, it's 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 um accelerated experiential dynamic psychotherapy. So mm, it's okay. Quite a full mouse. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, it's a a, a model, uh, which is a contemporary model. This is right. was is was something very important for me, right? Because even in our job. You know, I felt that pressure, you know, of being more effective, of um, um, leaning more into transformance, leaning more into really, really helping people change, right? Right. right. Uh, not about only talk therapy nowadays. So coaches and psychotherapists are they 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 are really I I think now under a pressure somehow mm -hmm. um, right. that is different. For, from what happened 50 years ago in the field. Right. So I was really looking for something contemporary that um, that would use what we know now in um, as developments in neuroscience, right. in the psychology of emotions, right? right? In the physiology of emotions, attachment theory, and ADP had all of this. So yeah. this is what draws me to ADP. But most important, and I want just to stress that out, okay. um, the, because this is what actually changed my work, is the focus on emotions, right? And the ADP emotions, does that. Emotions, yes, yes, yes. Emotions. yes. <laughs> and um, of course, in, in, the, in theory, we all know emotions are important. Yes, right. but how? How do we, we use them? How do we use them in theory? How do we deal with them, right? Right. So ADP uh, helped me with understanding and first of all, practicing on myself because um, in a way ADP also changed my life. Right. I became a different person after I became a client. I first tried it on my own and I worked um uh, with an ADP therapist mm. and seeing how change can happen with the help of emotions, right? Of course, change can happen with the help of our mind, of our behavior as well, yes. you know, but it is not that drastic as um, change happening with the help of emotions, emotions, right? It's like somehow we have forgotten we have forgotten because we are so focused to be on our minds, in our minds, that we have forgotten we have these ancient, incredible tools, which are called emotions. And they are here for us to give us information, to help us. However, what I did back, back then, right. I was afraid, you know, afraid of going there, you know, with deep emotions. So I stayed a lot in my hand, mm. in my head. So how can therapy, you know, help if you're not going in those incredible places where your emotions are, right? right. Um, so I think this is in a way um, my story, story about um, 
finding my emotions, mm. right? Um, this is what I also do now with my clients because what's happening, we often, because we have this ability to feel emotions. However, if we are alone with unbearable emotions, what happens yeah. is that, you know, we block them. It's too much. Right, so right, right. Yes, we do. And, and allow me, excuse me for my interruption, but yes, that, that resonates with me. We oftentimes, especially if we feel like something, in my perspective, uh, something is traumatic or something is brings up, uh, you know, uh, sad or hurtful memories, we block it and we build this wall. And really, that's a temporary, <clears throat> to me, that's a temporary fix. It's not a permanent solution when we block things out because eventually we're, it, something is going to lead us back to that where we really need to take that wall down in my perspective. Yeah. Go, yeah. go ahead, Arina. So you, you were really spot on because right. these walls are what we call defenses, right? Or anxiety. We put right. up defenses which are protective. Right, mm. in a way, we don't want to go there because uh, if we go there, it would be too unbearable for ourselves. Right, right. right. However, however, um, in in ADP, we we think that um, ADP is a healing uh, oriented model. So we think that really the healing comes from within, and we have everything we need to heal ourselves. However. And this is very important. Under the right conditions. Under, mm. the, right under conditions. the right conditions. <clears throat> Please tell yes. more about the right conditions. The most important condition is safety. Mm. Right? So okay. You not go there in a deep place, in a place where, you know, you've never been recently because you've been, you know, like so active, so in your head, so planned. So you will not go there, you know alone right for sure not but you will not go there even with someone else if you won't feel safe enough mm, right and i will and i will take this opportunity to uh, you know to to tell you how i feel now because now i'm feeling you know so safe so relaxed with you that i could tell you many many things <laughs> thank so you i appreciate it great. the feeling is mutual uh as i expressed uh prior to us uh, uh, coming live on here uh you you um you you know you let me know that you 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 like my energy and i and i said to you that it's you know it's easy to uh, reciprocate this energy it's easy to radiate this energy when i feel the same uh mm -hmm. so i'm basically tapping into what you just said you know i feel that safety i feel that uh, my no walls are up right now for me to have to oh I don't know you know I'm getting very welcoming and warm energy from you and you know the vibe that you want to be here and that you appreciate being here so when we both are giving those same frequencies you know yeah. to speak uh it's it's so you can you can feel it so whoever's watching in on this they they can feel it you know uh, yeah. yes, yes. It's, it's hard to explain. It can be, but basically it, it, energy, like I said, you can, you can deceive someone with just simple words, but their yeah. vibrations, their energy, their frequency, it's yeah. hard to fool somebody on that because your, your intuition will pick up on that. If you really tune into it and you can really feel the vibe and the energy and feel if it's authentic, you know? I think this is it. You're authentic and I can feel it, right? Yes. But the, the therapist, the therapist in ADP is himself. He comes right. with his emotions, you know, is how he feels. He he's, uh, conveys that to his client. Oh, I felt that. I felt that. Oh, I felt so much appreciation for you for saying that. Right. So we work like two human beings, right? right. Um, and 
speaking um, of what you have, what you just said, you said about energies, but we, we also, psychologists, we also have an explanation for that. And this is right brain to right brain communication. So our hemispheres, the right ones, not the left ones, the analytical ones, but yes. the right communicating, right? Through intention, through tone, right? Through pauses, Yes. Through body. And this is also therapy. Mm. therapy. And ADP, what, what this model did, uh, it incorporate it incorporated that into uh, this model. I think this mm. is all a very big deal. Because right. you can't do a therapy only with advices, with left brain analysis. No, because right. what maybe hurt us or where trauma maybe come from right. um, from difficult relationships from not being right. seen right. from not being validated from not being with someone else emotionally as we have needed maybe in our childhood so this is all yes. right. This right. Is all right okay that's good to know and I've, I, I'll, I'll be honest with you I didn't I, I did, never knew that so that's why another thing and, and I apologize again for for interrupting you, but that's why another reason why um, it's just so amazing uh, being on a part of this podcast because I learned something, even something like that, that the right brain is what what uh, controls that part. Yes, yes that's yeah. amazing. Yeah, so um, I, I'm more of an evidence-based uh, psychotherapist, so I will use these terms, but there are many other terms in this universe for explaining right connection but this is real so what actually did change in me was when i let my defenses which which took quite a while while wow, yes yes and i found a therapist who could help me with that right mm -hmm. and i worked with what was there and my life really changed this is the basis right. really changed and of course when you see something that is happening to you of course you you know you you trust that right and you want right. to try to help others with with other with the clients as well yeah. so um yeah this is uh this is the story and how um and how i became an adp therapist and um i wow. trained in adp right this is the the, the story the short story of it right and you know i picked up on a lot of e elements you know not only just um your own personal experiences your own personal um just enthusiasm and intentions and purpose in regard to learning more but also wanting to take this knowledge and your own personal experiences and your own personal successes and wanting to help other people experience the same thing and that's amazing. Yes, yeah. that that was also a motivational force for me. Right. Uh, because in a way, well, that's how I was constructed in a way right. for having a very strong professional identity. Um, I've always been successful in my career. Other areas of my life, mm, questionable, but in my career. <laughs> yes, I, I, I get it. Yes, yes. <laughs> And uh, how, how I think about this is, uh, in a way is that, oh, uh, I can't help my client right. if I'm not there myself. Mm. So it was very, you know, it was very motivating for me um, also to take care of my life. But through this perspective, through that lens, right? right. Because I can't be there truly, authentically with my client if I'm not well. I can't. Right. Right, right. No, it's true because you're 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 saying that I can help you, but I haven't helped myself first. You know, yes. So mm -hmm. I I totally understand. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that's amazing. But at the same time, I do have to add this from my perspective. It doesn't mean that you have to be perfect, but you know, and if you are specializing uh, in a certain uh, field, you do want to make sure that everything is in alignment within yourself before you try to help someone else because otherwise it's like 
in my in my perspective it's like okay so you're trying to fake help me with what you say you know but it's not it hasn't worked for you first you know that's what i would ask anyway you know so no you that's good that you you know that that <clears throat> and after so many years i think the conclusion is that you can't it, it's my conclusion so uh yeah, right. it, it, for me you can't help other from your mind right, right. you, you 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 can help him with the with the whole that you are the whole. Right. so with your experience with what you've been through with everything with your energy with your good intentions which right. are very important right, no matter what your knowledges are so i i've never lacked lacked knowledge however the knowledge doesn't solve our problems you know right, this is right. i get it yes Yes, and it's almost the same too. Like, is if I'm seeking uh, economic or financial advice from someone, you know, I'm going to want to see, you know, their own resume, their own life. Like, yes. nothing's working out well financially for them, but you're trying to give me advice about how to do mine. No, mm -hmm. that's not going to work. Maybe you do have the specialized knowledge of how to do it, but you have not applied it to yourself to show me it's working, what you're trying to teach me. So it'll make it difficult for yes. me to accept that if I see they're not uh, practicing or they haven't applied it to their own life. Yes. And for me, it was, you know, um, emotions, actually, okay. this was the secret right. for me. Um, because after all, living um, a fulfilling life means to um, utilize our emotions, right? It requires the ability to acknowledge and utilize our emotions. But what happens is that people sometimes disconnect from their right. emotions. And Absolutely. <laughs> What happens later is they often um, pay the price through depression, mm. isolation, right? Um, anxiety. So they pay the price for being that disconnected with their emotion. Because in, in, emotions serve us as motivators, right? Mm. They organize our behavior. They they are biologically wired to give us information, information about ourselves and the environment. Right. So these are extremely useful tool uh, and they have been, I don't know, brought into psychology, let's say 20 years ago, right? Um, by the work of Damasi, of Panksep, these are uh, neuro researchers that um, brought light <laughs> to us right. as psychotherapists. Right. And you know, yeah, you work with 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 uh, your mind, with cognitions, with behaviors, but don't forget about emotions. Yes. These are ancestral tools for living, right? Just use them as they were, um, uh, as they were wired, you right. know, to be used. Yes, yes. amazing. And how is that? Because you know. Um, uh, each emotions, each emotion contains an inherent drive toward completion. Right? Mm. So, of course, evoking bodily changes to support specific uh, um, adaptive actions. Right. However, what's happening if we block emotions? That adaptive action, you know, won't be released. Right, so we will feel confused. We will, you know, ruminate in our head. Right, maybe we will think more and more because right. we have dropped down. We are into defenses, into anxiety, but we haven't dropped down and connected to our emotions. So this is what we actually do in ADP, a part of what we do, helping people to drop down into their emotions, and then without saying anything, we don't have to all of them you know this is what it is this is they they would know they will know they will know because emotions you know having the felt sense of course we help right but having that felt sense um you also know who right. you are afterwards what you need because you you know you um you used those tools 
those tools that I did not give the client the tools. No, he was born with them. Right. This is what I was saying. Yeah. Now this is a healing orientation. So yes, we are all born with that. Right. However, we need um, help, some more, you know, some less to be able to go there. If especially if we are not used to do that anymore, right. and living all all in activities in plans, right? In in, in beliefs and in um, we are always on the run. So you know our body just doesn't even have the time to relax. Right. Yeah. Well, wow. So, <laughs> Wow, thank you for uh, articulating that, for painting us a vivid picture on how... Uh, we, on how we live. <laughs> yeah, on how we live, our emotions, and how <clears throat> we all do have that. We're not helpless. We just may need help finding yeah. our tools and learning how to access them and use them to help ourselves, to empower ourselves, is what I gather from what you... Uh, expressed from what you articulated amazing yes yes mm -hmm. so how um would would people find you if they want to seek some of your uh expertise some of your knowledge some of your insight or simply ask you a few questions or whatever how do you have a website that you can share with us or anything Yes, yes. It's, it's, of course, I have a website. It's my name, Irina Churanu. <laughs> and if people Google me, they will find me immediately. However, I just want to add uh, something because yes, uh, absolutely. I, also, I also thought, okay, so I have this knowledge, you know, what do I do with it? Because I, I only work, for example, with 15 clients. I can't work with more than 15 clients. I, I also need um, my time and also need you know, um, mm. me being well when working with them. So I prepare you know, for them. So I can't just, you know, yes, uh, next client, yes, next client. I can't do that. Right, right. With this kind of therapy, at least, I can't. Mm. Um, however, I've been thinking, okay, but how can I reach more people? At least, you know, they will not be able to work with me, but I can offer something at least for free. And uh, this is uh, how we met, <laughs> because you've right. seen fine so i also i'm on facebook and i also have a group um on uh, face on facebook which is called um healing trauma depression and anxiety mm. and through a therapy um and there i do i also do a lot of psychoeducation so yeah anyway if people don't like this um, um theoretic things I don't think they would like my Facebook because I always put their information, they are informative and theoretic because this is how I am in a way, you know, this is my, my background, right? But I'm there as well. So thank you for, for, for your question. I'm there as well. And um, nowadays, all my practice is online. Uh, um, so all my clients see me online and I am blessed to see clients from all over the world. Exactly. Yes, yes. And see, we have something in common because I am blessed, fortunate, thankful to uh, attract people from all around the world to come on this podcast. And that is not a coincidence. That is, you know, intentional. Like, like, like you say, the energy that I give off attracts people like you're meant to be here with me today. It's not coincidence. We're meant to share and to uh, learn from each other and to uh, put our, uh, our energies together to make even more powerful and, and, and share and, yeah. and highlight. And it's amazing. And I'm so thankful. Yes. And also, I was going to ask you, or I'm going to ask you, and I just, I did this earlier today on my first podcast, because the woman I spoke to is from France, okay? And now she lives in Italy. So what I did is asked her, and I thought about this. You know, I speak to people from around the world that they, they all come from different places and speak many languages. So can you just tell us maybe just a phrase 
or a, a, a word of encouragement in Romania language, what, uh, uh, you know, maybe anything that you want to say, you know, have a nice day, help er blessings to everyone, just something, something short in your own language. Mă bucur tare mult să fiu aici, să vorbesc în limba română, să vorbesc în limba engleză și nu uitați, suntem creați pentru a fi mai bine decât doar bine. <laughs> wow, and what is that in English? And in English it was I am I'm very happy, I'm here and I speak Romanian, I'm speaking English and I also cited uh, quoted Damasio who said um, we are wired to be better than fine. Uh, meaning we are not here just to survive. No, we are to thrive. Wired. Yes. Yes, we have that in us. We right. have that in us. And the question is, how can how can I thrive? I think this is the, the question that I really ask myself daily. Ask myself, how, what do I need? What do I need to thrive? Because I'm not here only for me. I'm here for my family. I'm here for my two boys. Uh, I'm here for my partner. And I'm here for my clients. And this is a serious, serious statement for me. Right, right, right. I need to thrive because this is the energy they would feel. Right from me. Yeah. Thank you very much again. I must extend my sincerest gratitude to you once again, Irina. Thank you very much uh, for sharing your amazing insight, uh, expertise, knowledge, uh, just experiences. Uh, thank you for for helping to uh, bring more value to not only myself but to everyone that's watching and listening here and just to this podcast, thank you very much. Yes. You are welcome. I just want to say that your words touched me, touched me a lot. And I want to share that with you as we do in therapy. Thank and you. it was an, uh, an amazing experience for me as well. Lovely to be with you. Lovely. Yes. Just love. Thank, you. thank you. Yes. And thank you everyone for watching and or listening. Uh, I appreciate you all. I appreciate you uh, following this podcast, tuning into it, and just just being a part of, of, of my whole experience. Thank you, each and every one of you. Please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Share this. Leave comments, questions. Look into the description and, and tap on the links. Check out the Enlightened Empowered Evolve uh, website as well at 333empower.com. And just love and appreciation to everyone. See you soon. Enlightened Empowered Evolved.